<coughs> oh shit. So, um, this story is about a female that drove a minivan. I called her Minivan Vanessa, or MVV. So, I'm hanging out one night. It was summertime, and everyone used to congregate down by the water. There used to be people lined up on both sides of the street. So, I'm talking to my homeboy, and we looking around scouting out talent. Now, for the most part, all we see is black leggings, fake hair, and long eyelashes. But, we don't judge. Now, parked about 10 feet in front of us is two girls in a minivan, and the driver's side door is a different color. So, I immediately know that her finances are not where they're supposed to be. So, she, she gets out like she's trying to stretch her legs, but I know better than that. Now, she's, she's got a bottle in her hand, and I, I know that she's drinking E&J. So, I, I'm thinking to myself, she don't even really need to be out in public drinking no E&J. So, I, I also know that she, she keeps walking to the back of the van looking through the window. So, I'm, I'm thinking, well, maybe she's got a pit bull back there. But I, I don't hear no barking or nothing. So, now, now she looks at me and says, excuse me, do, do you have a light? But I know she was just trying to stack up a conversation because I seen the other girl light up a black and white about 10 minutes before. So, I, I give her a light. And she says, by the way, I'm Vanessa. So, you know, I, I tell her, Papito's the name. So, I, I can tell that this ENJ has took effect, because now she she's slurring her words. And she says, let, let me go check on something real quick. So, she, she walks back to the back of the van, and she peeks inside. So, so I yell, you got a pit bull back there? And, and she turns around and shushes me and, and says, be quiet. I, I'm not trying to wake her up. So I, I walk over there thinking I'm about to see a, a pit bull puppy or something. But, but instead, I'm looking at a sleeping baby. Now, it's, it's a blanket, some, some toys. I see a pacifier in the baby's mouth. She, she's got the whole part of the minivan looking, looking like a a mini baby station back there. So, but before I can say anything, she says, don't judge me. It's, it's just like having a baby in her crib at home. I, I said, yeah, that would be true if, if this was your home. But, but you know me, I don't judge. So, I walk back to my vehicle to grab my drink. And, and I got the driver's door open. And when I turn back around, She's standing in front of me dancing. So I, I spin her around so I can get a close-up of that frame. And she, she turns her head back and looks at me and, and says, Slap it. So at, as, as requested, I, I give her a birthday slap. She said, uh-uh, not like that. Slap it like I've been a bad girl. So I'm thinking to myself, you got a different color door, you drink it in, Jay, and you, you got a baby out here at, after 1 a.m. So I slapped the shit out of her ass. And, and she, she jumped and said, ooh, that, that's the type of shit I like. But I, I wasn't going to do it again, but, you know, but, but, because it kind of hurt my hand. It felt like she she had a muscle butt. So she she backed up and pressed it up against me. And, and she she stopped and gave me that look that you know you give someone if, if you bag your vehicle in the day is by accident. And, and she, she she looked me in my eyes and, and then she looked down and, and said, What the fuck is that? So I, I said, Well, 
grab it and find out. So she, she unzipped me and she stuck her hand in there and her eyes got real big. And, and she, she put her other hand over her mouth and, and she said, and I quote, Oh my God, why is this so fat? And, and then she, she stepped back like a monster was after her. And, and she, she kept saying, uh-uh, uh-uh. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need to feel that inside me. Uh, take, take my number and call me. We're going to have to set something up. So, fast forward, about a week later, I, I call her, and fir- first thing she, she says after she finds out who, who it is, she said, oh, oh you, you ready to go balls deep? So she, she kind of caught me off guard. So I, I, I said, yeah, I, I guess. So I, I didn't trust her to come over. So I, I got a room. And, and I told her, don't, don't bring that baby with you either. So she, she showed up and, and she was she was saying, um, I, I, I only got a couple hours. I, I got my sister outside in the van babysitting. Now, I'm, I'm starting to think she, she must be living in that damn van and just doesn't want to say nothing. So she, she goes to the bed and, and she says, you ready? And, and I say, well, you, you still got all your leggings. And she said, boy, these some ripaways. So I, I gave her a confused look. And, and, and she, she, she grabbed them by the waist and, and pulled them now, I guess they had buttons up the side because they ripped away. Like, you know, like some NBA warm-up pants. So she she bent over and said, before, before you put it in, slap it like you did before. Now, my, my hand had barely healed up from before. But nevertheless, I slapped the shit out of her again. And she, she, she let out a, another yelp at Ooh. So b- before she could really get it all the way out, I, I rammed it in her, and, and she, she, she said, oh, oh my God, you're a monster. So I, I gave it to her with no mercy, and she, she said, oh, Pop, Peter, you're hurting me. So I stopped and jumped on the bed. She said, oh. You want some hair? You want me to spit on it? I, I said, Vanessa, you're doing too much talking. Just shut up and sit on it. So she she jumped on top, then stopped, and pointed to her belly button and said, You right here, boy. So as, as she started back in motion, I reached up and grabbed her nipples, and she instantly started shaking, and she fell off. She said, Oh, they're real sensitive. I, I come instantly when they're touched. So I said, well, I, I won't touch them again, man. So she got back up there, and she threw her head back and closed her eyes. So I grabbed them again. And now she, she, she shook like she was having a seizure, and she fell off again. Now, at this point, this is getting ridiculous. So she, she said, uh-uh, I, I, I can't, I can't with you. So she, she snapped her leggings back on and ran out. And I, I looked out the window. She was running across the parking lot and she stopped and looked back up at the window. She, she seen me looking at her and she hurried up and turned around and kept running back to the van. So I, I never heard anything else from, um, Minivan Vanessa.